Welcome to Wonderful Wednesday. We got a great show today. All Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon, and then we're going to talk a little bit about Castle Combat. I promise this would be our shout out Wednesday because yesterday we just didn't have um, our roster ready for it. So we do have shout outs. Listen for your names of our strongholds. Also, here's a couple pictures of strongholds that you guys sent me. I love to see the strongholds. Um, that's what makes it fun, guys, is that we, we're, uh, we get to see some of the places that you've created. And then what I love is these names. We have some really funny names, and I'm going to share with you right now. So if you once you hear your name, you know that you're part of the Stronghold team. Dungeon Keeper Flames. Harrison Street Wizards, they are back. Tiny Jim Von Stickelsberg III, what a name. JP, easy one, Diamond Queen, Exploding Animals, and uh, they're back. I think we have several that have been from the very beginning, like Night Monkey, Eclipse, Doom Lair has been around for a long time, Lionheart, another good one, Seth Storm is back, Pink Panda Bean, Iceman, Kitty Kitty Meow Meow, Carter E, the McCory Brothers, fresh off their victory with Prince Morgan, uh, the House of the Three Dragons, Castle Snowfall, and W Inferno. So those are our shout outs for today. And um, we have coming up, uh, we are going to have our guests, guess the guests. So let's see if you can guess. And then we also have a couple Pokemon activities that I think you'll like. And we'll talk a little bit about Castle Combat, so. Ha ha ha! Ha Okay, here we are back with our special guest, Razzle, the Jester. Razzle, how's it been going? Good. So amazing that you decided to come on a Wednesday. I know you've been very busy. I know we haven't seen you since, I think, maybe session one. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And yeah. um, do you find that uh, you've been uh, very famous since you've been on the YouTube channel? Right. Now, are you a Pokemon fan? Yeah. All right. So uh, today we have a Pokemon race. So would you like to guess the winner of the race? All right. So I'm going to tell you our name of our um, of our racer. So we have Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, and Gengar. You like Gengar? Yeah. Yeah, Gengar is, um, I know you've, you're a fan of him because he's purple, obviously, and you kind of like that he is kind of sneaky, maybe. they don't move so they just stay in the spot so here we go and it's all simultaneous so let's let Charmander go he's got two spaces one two so who do you think is gonna win guys here comes Squirtle with a one and then Pikachu that is a one Gengar three one, two, three. So Gengar's in the lead after one turn. And here comes round two. Squirtle, I'm sorry, Charmander with two. He's up and takes the lead. Here comes Squirtle with two. One, two. He's back a little bit. Here comes Pikachu, had a slow start. Pikachu, one, two, and he's tied. 
there in the three. And here comes Gengar. Let's see how he does. He's got two. One, two. Gengar taking the lead. If you voted for Gengar, you're in good shape. Here comes Charmander. He's got two. One, two. They're approaching the first turn or... Uh, Whoops, has to be in the box account. There's Squirtle, one, two. And here comes Pikachu. Pikachu with just one. And here comes Gengar. Gengar has one. So, remember you picked first and last. So which one do you think is going to be first and which one do you think is going to be last? And I'm going to move this ahead. You see it is a three. One, two, three. Charmander with a huge roll there. Squirtle. One, two. And Pikachu. Oh, he turns on the speed. One, two, three. He's right next to the first third of the race. And now Gengar is behind by one spot. Here we are. We're going to move down a little bit. And here's Charmander. One, two, Charmander in the lead. Here comes Squirtle. One, two, Pikachu. One, two, a lot of twos this time. They're neck and neck. And here's Gengar with only a one. And now Charmander in the lead after the turn. So it's anybody's race now. We're almost to the halfway point. Uh-oh, Charmander does not move. This is the chance. And one, two, he's tied for the lead, is Squirtle. There we go. And here comes Pikachu. Oh no, he doesn't move. Gengar. One, two, so we have a three-way tie for the lead. This is amazing. Let's go with Charmander, one, two, three, and he turns back on the speed. We have one from Pikachu, I'm sorry, for Squirtle. Pikachu, one, two, and now Gengar wants to get pretty good roll, and we have first, second, third, fourth, everyone is moving along. We're gonna move along the track. You can see the finish line, here it is. Charmander, one, Squirtle, one, Pikachu, two. One, two, he's catching up. And Gengar has a chance to take the lead again. One, two, he's tied for the lead. So we're getting on the home stretch. Almost the home stretch. Three, Charmander, what a roll there. And only one for Squirtle. First and last wins, guys. Remember, Pikachu, one. Gengar, two. And here comes Charmander. One, two. He needs a two next time, and, or three next time to win it. One from Squirtle. So Squirtle's lagging back a little bit. And two. One. They're tied for the lead right now. I mean, for the loss. And Gengar, one, two. He's in second place. Charmander, a three to win it. He does not move. That's amazing. Look out. And we have one. And Pikachu with two. One, two, Pikachu. And here comes Gengar. He needs a big roll. One, two, he takes the lead. Now, we can have a photo finish. Remember, if they all finish on the same turn, we do a roll off. I'll show you what that means in a moment, if we need it. Here is Charmander needs a three to finish his turn. He does not, he stays right there. We need, oh, one, two, three from Squirtle. And Pikachu, one, two, Gengar, three, one, two, three, and he is your winner. Okay, we're going to finish up. Here's Charmander. He gets one, two, Squirtle, doesn't move, Pikachu, one, two, Charmander. Second place so far. We're going to see if there's a photo finish. Squirtle with a one. Charmander needs a two. He's got a three. One, two, three. So it's is it so it's first, second, third, and last is we're back. I can't believe it. Razzle picked 
Gengar to win. That is amazing. How did you know? Well, I did math calculations and I'm pretty smart. Okay. So I did three times 11 in the square root. Then I figured out that Gengar started with a G. And then I understood that the, and you saw okay. other things that I did with a calculator. And then I did a lot of other cool stuff. Okay. So you were very happy with Gengar and uh, I, get your, I get your idea there. So that's really cool. Well, Razzle, we have the rematch of Team Pikachu versus Team Squirtle coming right up. Do you have any uh, votes on that? Who would you like? Squirtle. Okay. So he's picking Squirtle. Uh, you guys get to pick. We'll be right back. Here is the rematch. Team Pikachu versus undefeated Team Squirtle. You might notice a change in the lineup. Dugong has been moved to the leadoff Pokemon and Poliwag, who is one of the top players in the league with three KOs and two Super Strikes, is taking the power position, the second one out, also known as the middleman or the two-man. On uh, Team Pikachu, you have Electabuzz, who's had a weak season so far against, and then uh, your second is Zapdos, who is tied for the lead in knockouts again with Poliwag. So we're hoping to see a nice one-on-one uh, -on -one versus those two. So let's get ready. Uh, we're gonna have a coin toss. We have a one and a six. So undefeated Team Squirtle's going first. Dugong starts off with a super strike. A nice hit there to start off. And a weak slap in return from Electrobuzz. And a power punch. So in two shots, we're already down to one. Electrobuzz with a power punch. He's down to three. So anything but a zap. And another super strike does uh, pretty awesome. That's two super strikes already. And here comes Zapdos. Can Zapdos lead? Oh, and he does. He does a nice shot. Leads off with a power punch. And now Dugong with another power punch. He's having a great game so far. And Zap does anything but a Zap. He does. He gets a uh, weak slap knockout. And now you see what everyone has come to want to see. The Poliwag versus Zap does. Poliwag has an advantage right now. He does. He knocks him down. And Pikachu's going to call for a timeout and a potion potion back to four so that should keep him in the game and now zapdos is trying to hit him with a power punch so it's four four anything but a zap oh and a power punch back let's see can zapdos do some damage he gets a zap and i think he's going to reroll that they're going to be all out of specials but it is a super strike down to one anything but a zap Oh, look at that. It is one and Zapdos. Uh, Pikachu definitely had uh, some smart moves there. And finally, Poliwag is knocked out by Zapdos. But a huge turn of events. Squirtle out there alone. Anything but a Zap. He's got a Super Strike and takes him out. So now, Pikachu versus Squirtle. What a match. Squirtle, of course, has the advantage in that he still has his reroll and potion. Weak slap. Pikachu definitely needed something better than that. But a weak slap back. He's conserving his reroll. Power punch down to three. Now, Squirtle is going to use his potion. He does not want to get knocked out. Goes to four, so he's not going to get knocked out next turn. And here comes the hit. Power Punch down to three. He's within striking distance. Pikachu still has at least two rolls away. He's at a Power Punch. And now a Super Strike can knock out Pikachu. And he still has a reroll. He does. Unbelievable. Squirtle knocks out Pikachu with a Super Strike. And that is the game. They stay undefeated. An exciting match. Zapdos and Poliwag. But Squirtle definitely the player of the game, and the team captain. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. 
Okay, we're back. Wow. Squirtle, 3-0. and I mean, that is amazing. Zapdos, though, on Team Pikachu, five, he has five knockouts on the season, three super strikes on the season. And then you look at Team Squirtle, the breakdown looks really good. Uh, Squirtle, three knockouts. Dugong, two knockouts. So he turned on the speed uh, putting put up in the leadoff Pokemon. Looks good. Poliwag, three knockouts, two super strikes. Only one zap. They're, they're playing really good. I think they might have one zap on the season, which is pretty incredible. Um, Pikachu's Electrobuzz still continues to struggle. So, guys, if you think we should replace Electrobuzz, we'd love to hear that. I know uh, some people think so. Now, we also had a great question. So the question is, can they be included in your Castle Combat decks? Absolutely. But you also got to look at good guys, bad guys. Now, the colors, they still count as a color. Uh, but you can mix them up. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, by the summer, we hope to have a lot more out there. Especially, we're going to have a new set um, from our Spark Guild. So that's going to be cool 